how to select every other row in Excel with four different practical examples because I don't know what you need to do. So four different practical examples. This is what we're gonna see in today's video. So let's say I can start with the second row. This is the first row that I need to select. And then I can press and hold down the control key and select the second range. And then I can go to the third one, to the fourth one, and so forth. And remember, press and hold down the control key to select multiple ranges at once or multiple rows. Okay, with everything selected, I can go to the home tab and change the highlights to a yellowish color, for example. Or I can even use control plus sign to move all those rows down to separate those rows. So let me go here to the second option, shift cells down, and then OK. As we can notice right here, all those rows now are being separated. But let me undo this action. Let me press Ctrl C to cope everything, and I want to group or extract off to the side. So Ctrl B. Simple as that. This is how we can select multiple different rows in Excel and do some extra things. But let me undo everything here. One, two, three, OK. Now, another way, the second method to select all the rows is using the numbers that I have to the side, because that way, instead of just selecting a small range like this, we can go to the, to the entire row, because clicking in the numbers to the left is going to select the entire row in Excel. And again, you can use the same method. Select the first row that you need, press and hold down the control key, select the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and so forth. However, it can take a long time to complete this task manually, because as we can notice, my data set has many different rows. So this is why maybe the third method can help you much faster. So let's use a helper column here to the right, the first blank one. I want to call it helper, enter. And then because I want to select every other row, I want to start with the letter A. And then the second cell is going to be B, and then A again, and then B and A, and everything is going to be repeated, right? A, B, A, B. If you want to create a different sequence, you can go with Let's say A, B, and C, and then everything repeats again. A, B, and C, and so forth. But let me stick with A, B, A, B, because I want to just select every other row. However, if you want to select the first one, skip two, and then select again another one, skip two, and select, you can create your own sequence to do so. But let's stick with A, B, A, B, A, B. Okay, but how can I drag down the sequence or scope down? What I can do is, I can stick with just this, the two first cells, and then I can double click at the bottom right corner, one, two, and then Excel is going to continue the sequence for me, as we can notice right here. Now I can apply some filters into my data set. So let's say I can click anywhere within my data set, or if you wish, you can select all the columns, and then Control Shift L to apply the filters. Now you can go to the last column, click, and then if you select the A, you're going to start with the second row. If you select B, you're going to start with the third row. I want to start with the second row. So I want to select anything but the A. So let me click OK. And that's it. Now, everything that is equal to A are being selected. And everything that is equal to B are being hiding from me. Now, let me select all those rows until the ending of the spreadsheet. OK. And let's say I want to apply here a different highlight. So I can go to Home tab and change to yellow, let's say. And if you want to cope everything that you have here, let me select this range. And as we can notice, I'm just selecting the, the rows that is matching with the A option. Now let me input here a new sheet and go back to the previous one. I can Ctrl C to cope, go to the new sheet, and then Ctrl B to paste. And that's it. Now there is no more row B, but just row A. So this is another way that we can do it. And if we go back to the main sheet and I clear this filter using the Control Shift L again, as we can notice, the highlight is being applied for every other row. And that's it. So this is the third method. But let me undo those actions, or actually, let me select everything here and get rid of the highlight, no fill, and get rid of this helper column. Control minus. Okay. Now, the fourth method that we can use is with VBA. VBA is basically an excellent way to automate tasks in Excel. And to open VBA, we can either use some keyboard shortcut keys, or we can go to the Developer tab. However, if you do not have the Developer tab, you can go to the Home tab, and then in any blank spot, you can right-click and go to Customize the Ribbon. Because here, instead of using popular commands, you can go to Main Tabs. And then you're going to find Developer, click Add, and then click OK. Simple as that. This is how we can enable the Developer tab. 
Now we can go here to the Visual Basic tool, click, and with this new window, you can select the she where you want to select every other row. And mine is she1, as we can notice right here, she1. If I had a different name, you can just check for the name to be able to apply this code that I'm going to show you here. So double click here in the she1, where you want to select every other row. And instead of using general, you click and change worksheet. Now you can select everything right here, get rid of, and then you can use the code that I'm going to leave in the description and also in the comments section. So let me press here, Control B to paste, and that's it. This is the code that we need to use. And remember, be mindful right here, because my she is called she1. So if you have a different she name, you're going to need to change right here. But you need to let the name in between quotations. So code and code. Another thing that you can change right here is maybe you don't want to start and select the first row. So instead of using A1, you can use A2 or A3, A4, and so forth to starting in a different row position. But I, I'm gonna let it that way, okay? So simple as that. Now I can just go here and run this code and let's take a look on what is going to happen. So let me click here and yeah, and as we can see, every other row is selected, starting with the first row. But let's say, as I said before, I don't want to restart with the first row, I want to restart with the second one. What I can do is instead of using a1, I can change to A2. And again, I can click to run the code again. So let me click here. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Now I start in the second row. Simple as that. Let me close this code and that's it. And here you can do the same thing as before. You can apply a different highlight for the rows that you have. You can code those things right here. You can use Ctrl plus to separate those rows and whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video with those four different methods on how can you use select every other row in Excel. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. Every day has a new video.